Ooh. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. Are you big for taking care of those guys? So let me tell you something fascinating. Hey! Hey, bud. I am... Thank you so much for the 50 bits, Ollie. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those 50 bits. You didn't have to, but you did, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, bud. I am Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient text, there is some kind of place ab up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky, or down from the Isle of the Goddess palace place, words. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on a number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the ability to activate all other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I, for one, believed it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. It makes you want to know more, doesn't it? Does it not? Yes. Oh. Ah, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright, bud, you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. <sighs> Chat. Blow your mind. Look at this. People actually live on this sky island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres, reveres the goddess and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This isle of the goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds the river through the palace. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather? Oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty ha heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong! It is beyond amazing. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Sure. Let's see how excited Ooh. this guy gets. Good to hear, bud. I'm completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I'll give you the latest info. He's all referring to what, you know, up there where I'm from. All right. Enjoy your breakfast. Yeah, I'll call you later. Hey, what's up, Double O? Good to see you. Whoa. Hmm. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? Oh. The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Hey. I have to examine the statue further, bud. But who knows what I might find out. Oh, you streamed yesterday? I didn't even see it. <laughs> Brown Bear's got me. He'll help remind me. Uh, behind the temple. Oh, okay, so that's how I get to... That's how I get to the, um... Back up to the, the castle or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a test stream. Thanks for not going in. Okay. Goro! What was that? Ooh. I ignored chat for a full hour. <laughs> the statue just reacted to you. What'd you do? Come on, do not make a big guy beg. I have... I've got to know. I think there's a cave up there. And people actually chatted? That's awesome. You should have just made it like a testing, just chatting stream. Oh, this is how you push that log over. I guess that's how I can get up there quickly. Okay, I was looking it up, and it says verbatim. Throw. Tilt ZR... And right stick up. Roll, tilt ZR, and stick down. Okay. The next time I get a pot, that's exactly what I'm doing. Master, now that you have accessed the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. 
Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure. I don't have any amiibos, chat. You can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. I don't have the amiibo, so. Crew Dak is in chat. I am not. Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I haven't seen Krudak in so long. How are you, my man? It has been a minute. Oh my lord. Krudak, how are you, my dude? Wow. It has been a while. You have amiibos? Send them my way. Wow. How have you been, Krudak? Hopefully well. Hopefully well. You've been playing The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel action with Krudak. Yeah, Krudak was here on the Breath of Fire 4 days, my early streaming days. That was like a year ago. I was looking on um, on Twitch trying to figure out like how long I've been streaming. And I think it's been like a year. What is... Oh, this is the, the thing. February. You've been stuck working? Hey, you gotta make that money, my dude. Gotta make that money. Gotta make that paper. Gotta make that paper. Gotta make that... Paper. I started in January, actually. Oh, okay. I love how Brown Bear keeps, uh, keeps, keeps, you know, he lets me know. He keeps me in check. He's like, I got you, bro. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including other words. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Okay, so that's where I am. Nice. I barely have time to even think. Finally got time down. Good. I know things. I recommend getting that amiibo. It's gorgeous. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda somewhere is in the area. Somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Okay. I gotta find a pot. I gotta test out that uh, that thing. Whoa! What is this? So let's try the dowsing ability. So she's that way. Okay. Man, Krudak. This game, at least Fee, is less annoying than Navi. Yeah, she should be called Naggy. Not Navi. I just chopped the tree down. Oh, I gotta use R, not L. You big dummy. I need oh those look painful. I need a um bug net, but I don't have a bug net. Ooh. Oh, we got bad guys. We got bad guys, chat. But, oh, that thing's alive. What, what is that? Got him. Look at my skills. I don't mind. Come on. I got it, don't worry. Uh, oh, okay, sorry about repeating myself like it did. <laughs> but the better way to explain it, explain it button only controls is when you pick up a pot slash bomb, flick the right stick up, down, and then press ZR to throw it. So do I do it at the same time or do it like flick it and press the button quickly afterwards? I'm sure I'll figure it out, but good to know. I would have never figured it out if you didn't look it up. Huh? It's gone quiet. Quico! Now there's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. 
I played this game originally back on the way Wii with motion controls. Also played this HD remaster. I preferred this one with the stick controls. So I didn't ever play. I didn't ever, man. Double negatives. Uh, I never played the Wii version because I was not big on motion controls. And I'm not saying that motion controls are bad. I'm just not a fan of motion controls. But when they said they were re-releasing it, re-releasing it, and you can use a controller, then I was like, oh yeah, I'm picking that up. So this was actually a fan game request from Brown Bear. So that's why we're playing it. Don't hurt me, Koo Weep. Think you can do it step by step? Okay. It's totally worth it. Yeah, I mean, I'm having a blast with the with the game right now. Get up the ramp. I made it. What is that thing? <laughs> it's like freaked out. Here's some giant shrooms. How come that one's all shiny? Or are they all all shiny? Hey, what the? Oh, we got a we got a monster. <laughs> Can you catch this guy, or what? Hey. Hey. Dude. 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 Oh, roll into the mushroom. Oh, I hit it. Zelda, anyway. Okay, he's right here. Uh, I have to run and push. There we go. Yeah, sorry again about repeating info. Growing up with the OG version is kind of messing with my muscle memory. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to screw you up. Ah. It spotted me again. Kui! Like turns into a plant. Huh? You don't want to eat me? And come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? Ki Palip? I'm Maki. I'm a Kikwi. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, but she escaped with the Kikwi Elder. So they must be near? <laughs> Master, we have obtained a new information on Zelda's current status. This informa information indicates that she was assailed by monsters but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked this position of the Kikwi known as Maki. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikwi most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to the previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing the search for Zelda. You really spooked me. You keep some very strange company, friend. It sounds like you're set on finding this friend and the Elder, if you're heading that way anyway. Would you mind telling our el Elder that I'm safe? Cheer up. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. I'm not gonna read like all the Kwee Peep and Kwai Pope and whatever. Having played the OG version and then played this at a finger dis 
dyslexia for a while. Thank you so much for the follow, bro stick. I appreciate it. These guys are like a crossbred of Pikmin and Kookaburros. Yeah, they are. Thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hey, what's this? You got an amber relic. These amber colored chunks of precious stone are found everywhere. No one knows where their strange shape comes from. Okay. Sal's it, I guess. I gotta go that way. That means I gotta run up this hill. There's an enemy right here, though. Can I run by him? Aha! Let's, uh... Push this rock into him. I can seriously pick this up? Holy crap. Haha! <laughs> Get wrecked. Rupees. The grasshopper. Or a crow. Oh, that's gotta be the elder. He's huge. Is that yeah, that's down there. Kaka. Oh, you saw those mad skills? Is that an enemy? Where is it? Oh, hello. I think that bird is an enemy. It's almost like this game was a trial run for some of the later stuff that came for Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Can't wait till you get to the first dungeon, dude. This game, IMO, has some of the best dungeon design layouts, bosses, and theming. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh, it's a uh, crap. It's an Octorot. Got him. Also, best boss keys. Uh. Let's push this down. Yeah. Link is so strong. Oh, there's another Octorok there. Yeah! Ooh, more rupees. Also, best boss keys. A lot of folks that actually really enjoyed the boss key segments, however brief they were. Man, I'm y'all got me hyped now. Oh no! I did not mean to fall down here. Hey, there's a there's a guy. That's a guy. That's one of the dudes. Do I roll into him? No. Maybe I gotta go talk to him. Oh, you just try and pick him up. Don't eat me, I taste terrible. Let me go. Whee! Oh, but you don't seem like a monster. A girl with blonde hair, you say? Can't say I saw anyone like that. I was lying low this whole time. I'm Olo. If you meet the elder, tell him I'm here. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm gonna stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. Why does Olo look so angry? I try to pick it up. Thank you. I should have just read chat. Chat would have told me. Okay, so I'm back here again. Oh, that leads me. Okay, that leads me around. Uh, I have not played Wind Waker. 
Um, I need to play Wind Waker. Like, I would want to play Wind Waker really bad, but I don't think there's a remake or remaster on the Switch, is there? Because I love the art design of Wind Waker. I love the cell shaded graphics and such. Wind Waker, the legend of endless sailing. <laughs> sailing. Yeah, because this, I mean, the, the world of Hyrule is flooded in that game, right? Ow. Wrong button. Got him, chat. Look at me, like a pro. Need some hearts, bro. Need some hearts. Oh man, you have to play Wind Waker. Definitely a must-play game, not even just a stream, just a must-play in general. But if I'm playing it, I'm streaming it. That's that's my thing. If I'm playing it, I'm streaming it. I need to find it, like on Switch or something. Which I don't think they have. 